So, as I promised in the previous lecture, I will show you guys how to create your first Facebook campaign online, uh, how to set up a budget, create audience and get things running. This is something proven that I've done many times so far and I will just give you my best practices. So first of all, start with your, um, you just go on your Facebook. Uh, you must have a business page for your business. So I, as you see, I'm managing three different business pages at the moment, just from my account. I manage a few more from a professional business account. Uh, but first of all, make sure that you have a business page on Facebook for your company. So once you have this done, uh, this is easy to create. Uh, you can just go here and go to create adverts. So this is going to take you to the building platform of um, Facebook, uh, which is for people who would like to create an ad. So first of all, we have to create a campaign. So a campaign is uh, actually a group of different uh, ad sets. So for example, if you have one product uh, and you'd like to create a particular campaign for it, uh, in this campaign you can set uh, your own budget and your own target. Uh, and within this campaign, you can have several different experiments, let's say, which are advert sets. And with each advert set, you can have a bunch of ad adverts. Uh, so this might sound a bit complicated in the beginning, but I will go through it step by step. By step. So first of all, uh, you can choose your marketing objective. So this is super important. And as you can see, Facebook starts straight away with the main thing, your objective. So you must know what you'd like to create. So there is uh, brand awareness, reach, um, consideration. So this is kind of more targeted towards the generation. And there is lead generation particularly. Uh, these ones are more for e-commerces, so they are very good uh, types of uh, campaigns. But in this case, we're going to cover lead generation or particularly I'm going to show you how to create a lead form ad, which is something amazing. It just increases conversion so tremendously more. It's basically a way for people to convert by using the same email and information which they have already shared with Facebook. So there is nothing for them to fill out. You'll see it just looks really, really easy. So I'm going to choose lead generation. Right. This is my objective. And I have to give um, name of the campaign. So I will name this um, social media tips. You can do anything you want, but just make sure that you follow the same naming conventions as at the later stage, you will have many campaigns. So it will be easier for you to filter them out by name. So just make sure that you are using consistent naming. So then continue. And we will start creating our advert set. So for the advert set, I will choose also a name. So we can say that this will be our advert set, social media tips in UK. So you can divide them by country, you can divide them by message you want to share. It can be up to you, but it's just like another way to kind of set apart several different uh, advert sets. Usually I use advert sets to uh, kind of have different experiments. So within campaign, you, the only thing that you put, as you saw, is your objective. Within the advert set is your audience. So you can choose which country. So you can have the same campaign and within there you can target five different countries with several different advert sets. So every country has its own advert set and you can show different language, different ad in different country. So it's very conveniently done. So here, this is why it's so important to have a business page. You must choose your business page. So I'm going to choose this one, which is something that I've created before. Uh, then it's one of the most important parts, audience. So this is the most important part of the lecture. Everything else you can skip, but this is absolutely crucial. So listen carefully. When it comes to audiences, these are 
prepared groups of people which Facebook will create for you from the billions of users that they have already. So you cannot just target everybody uh, when you are uh, when you're online. You have to be very specific because otherwise you will just run out of budget and you will end up not really getting the results you want. So here you can create custom audience. So if you already have a list of subscribers, list of people that have actually up got uh, from you, uh, let's say your lead magnet and you have their email addresses and you want to create a similar audience or you just want to target these people, you can create that here. So you can create a custom audience, which means basically upload a list of emails and Facebook will match these emails to the actual users if they're using of course the same email address when they are logged in in Facebook or you can do a lookalike -like, like audience so this tells to Facebook you upload the list of people who have let's say downloaded your uh, information and you tell Facebook find me the same people and show my ad to, to, to similar people lookalikes so they will target people with similar interests, uh, similar uh, location, maybe age group, gender. They know their thing. We don't know exactly how it works, but it will generate uh, a lookalike. So this has only one minus. You must have a big database. So you must have, I would say, at least a thousand to three thousand names in your list in order to create kind of okayish lookalike or custom audience otherwise it's too small because you can think of the fact that a lot of the emails will not match maybe it will just not be usable for lookalike so it will be quite difficult for Facebook to create an audience for you if you don't have enough names but if you don't have anything at the moment you can create a lot of other filters so let's say you can choose a location uh, so, of course, people who live in location, who are recently in that location, traveling this location. So, it depends what your target is. If you're a hotel, maybe you'll be looking to uh, find people who recently are in this location. Or if you're a restaurant, you want to find tourists who are passing by or traveling. It's up to you. I'll just choose everyone in this location. I'll choose the UK. And here we can choose age group. So, I would say something between... I would be targeting, let's say, a younger audience of entrepreneurs, like young entrepreneurs, 23 to 41, all genders. You can see I still have 19 million people. So keep an eye on this, um, this chart, this gouge here. Uh, this will tell you the audience size. So 19 million, it's way too broad. So here you can choose which languages you'd like them to speak. Uh, doesn't matter. In that case, I wouldn't use that. I think the most interesting part is this one, uh, detailed targeting. So here you can uh, basically choose what kind of demographics you want to use. So you can choose by education. So you can see everyone who is coming from a particular school, is a particular stage of their education. Uh, you can choose financial which is quite creepy, but you can choose people who earn up to a certain amount of money in UK. This is only available for the UK, but also net worth, high affluence, low affluence. Generation, if you're targeting baby boomers, millennials, home, homeowners, what kind of, high school, what kind of uh, household they have. Life events, if you're targeting someone who has anniversary, date of birth at certain age, month, friends, new job, new relationship, all kind of things, depending on what you want. So most of these might not be relevant to you, but uh, they're there for you. So in any case, for every case, there could be a something. Um, here, it's quite interesting because for interests, you can get people according to what they said they're interested in. So here it becomes a bit tough because, for example, if I want to target people who are interested in, let's say, in business, you can see that it's 757 million. That's huge. That's absolutely massive. Uh, so if I choose this, 
watch. Like my audience didn't really change. Basically, all these people that I selected that are uh, 20 to 40 in the UK, they're all interested in business. So there is no point of me actually using this filter. What I would suggest you to do is do some research and find pages that they would like. So let's say if I'm targeting someone who is interested in uh, technology or startups, you can look at London Startups, which is a group. Maybe not. So you can see these are different websites and different um, companies, interests, people that have liked this page. So if I choose, let's say, startup company, which is a Facebook group, you can see I'm now less than a million, which is still a lot, but we just literally cut so many people out. And then you can continue narrowing down. Uh, you can say, let's say, people who like tech crunch, which is um, a famous website which provides technology information. So you can see like TechCrunch Japan. So maybe I want to target just Japanese people who are in the UK, interested in startups and like this kind of TechCrunch Japan. No, it didn't work out. Uh, but you can then choose entrepreneurship. So it starts giving you ideas, owner and CEO, business owner, self-employed, marketing, let's say marketing. Oh, you see, we got to 4 million. The ideal audience size in AdWords is less than between 100 and 30,000 people. So we can keep narrowing down, narrowing down, let's say people who are fans of, uh, let's say of Gary V, who is a very famous social media person. So if I exclude marketing and startup company, just leave Gary V, you can see I have a hundred thousand people. So these are all people watching Gary V. If you haven't seen him, he's a um, really amazing social media guru, writes books about social media marketing, entrepreneurship, is a very likable person, uh, has great content. Uh, and I can just target the people who are interested in him. So here it's giving me all the established daily results, how many leads I'm going to get per day. So up to eight leads per day. So this is just an estimation. So it might be much more than that. So don't pay full attention to this. The most imp important part is the audience size. So make sure that you keep it around 100,000 to 30,000, depending on what uh, reach you'd like to get. Then you can choose if you already have a Facebook page, you can choose people who like your page or who are uh, friends of people who like your page or you just want to show it to new people who so you can exclude the people who actually are already uh, your fans or you can also exclude people who like other people so maybe I can say people who like Ty Lopez which is another social media celebrity so I want to exclude them and you see I have only 96,000 people I just kind of reduce the audience to uh, less than 100,000. So what I can do is I can save this audience for now and then I will be able to actually, so this is social media tips UK. So I can use this audience directly the next time I'm creating an ad. So I don't have to do this straight away next. Then comes to the budgeting. So here you can choose a daily budget or lifetime budget. What is the difference? Uh, when it comes to daily budget, uh, you can basically, you're going to spend no more than five pounds per day. So once your five pounds are gone, your ad stops appearing. Or you can say lifetime budget, let's say $350 for a week. Uh, and in that case, once the $350 are gone, it might be in a week, it might be in two weeks, depending of uh, how, how people interact with your ad, uh, then your ad stops showing and you can, if you have a certain amount that you want to spend only uh, and you just don't want to, to show your ad uh, regularly every day, 
uh, you can just choose a lifetime budget. But if you prefer to have like a certain amount of people showing, uh, getting your ad every day, um, I would suggest you to use a daily budget. It's pretty easy to manage and as long as you don't forget to switch it off once it gets too expensive, it's fine. Then, if you like, you can do a schedule, so pretty straightforward. You can choose uh, to show it for a month, for, for a day, depending on what kind of, what kind of, uh, what kind of schedule you want to have. Uh, by default, it's 31 days, but you can always change that. Optimization for this ad, it's automatically optimized for leads, which we talked about. Uh, bid amount, so you can do automatic, so let Facebook decide how much to bid for, for a click or for a conversion on your ad, or you can do manual, so you can choose, so it will get a suggested bid of £11, so between 8 to 17 so it's an expensive audience, but you can decide I'm going to pay 2 20 per result. In your case, when you will be charged, this will be per impression, so every time someone sees an ad. So I would advise you to put 11, 11 pounds in that case, especially if your daily budget is 20, 20 pounds, because after two impressions, probably nobody will be seeing your ad anymore. Then delivery type, always keep it to standard. There is accelerated, which will just blow out your budget within a few hours and you're not going to get much out of it. Just trust me, it doesn't work very well. Um, so when it comes to advanced options, these are the advanced options, you can hide them. But for now, I will keep my ad like this, $20 per day, $2, two pounds for impression. I don't know why I'm talking in dollars. Let's press and continue. Okay, so now we can actually create our, uh, our ad itself. So here you have the Facebook page that you have chosen. You can choose also an um, Instagram account. So you can add an existing account. So let's say this one. No, I don't have one here. 